All right. Nick, you, you got to meet Michael, who's picking the wines today. No pressure, Michael. Nick, nice to meet you. Look at oh, it's this. A pleasure to meet you, this Michael. This looks delicious, man. All well, right, Michael, it's now to you. What, well, what are you thinking? Well, when you're talking about matching wines and foods, there's usually two paths that you can follow. Mm -hmm. One is you complement or contrast. Uh, something that's going to cleanse the palate, refresh, and you know, work with the flavors and make you hungry for more. And then something else that's going to pick up some of these flavors and give you a whole other, uh, whole other perception of flavor experience. What I want to start with uh, is a white. So here we have from Germany. Um, it's, it's a cabinet, Gewurztraminer. Cabinet means it's almost. It, it's not overly sweet. It's a drier mm -hmm. style. Very clean. Great acidity. Good mouthfeel. So with Gewürztraminer, uh, it's for me. I find this is one of one grape variety that people either love or hate. But I find it a perfect food wine. And when you smell this, you're gonna smell. Uh, a oh, little, it's gorgeous. Doesn't it smell good? It. It's pretty. I love the yeah. Gewürztraminer. It pretty. really does. This should do quite well on this dish. Yes. One of the nice things with this style of wine is it's international. It'll hold up to the international flavors. Mm. But I, I want to try this to see if it's really working. Definitely the little beans on the side okay, of the plate. Yeah. You gotta have the full experience. That's the right? thing. You have to have everything on there because that's yes. gonna change your flavors. And Completely. You're gonna, so you're can find, I do this? Oh, thank you. On the side? Yes. Voila. Now one of the things with wine and food, when you're thinking about all the flavors on the plate, you gotta mm -hmm. kinda try and think of all of them and what influence is that gonna have on your perception and how is that gonna change the flavors of the wine. Beautiful acidity. I like the freshness it of is. this. It is, it's really fresh, it's mm -hmm. beautiful. Um, I, I like the fact that it's not too sweet too. It's a little yes. on the drier yeah. side. The the secret to that sweetness is finding the balance of acidity, and that's what gives us this freshness. And when these wines are really young, they almost dance on your tongue. Mm. So when you're trying it, try a little bit of everything. Try okay. the wine and see how that changes your uh, your perception. We know the food tastes great. Now mm. what about what about it? And you know th that's the nice mm. thing with wine and food pairing. Mm. It really doesn't matter what I say. It's your impression that really the end of the day is, is what's important. I have to say right off the bat, fantastic. I'm of the opinion that you can find a right red to go with anything mm -hmm. and a white to go with anything. With Asian cuisine, sometimes red wine's not always front of mind. I'm happy to introduce you to this one and really curious to get your impressions. Mm. What we have here is um, a red wine from Spain and this is a blend, a blend of three uh, grape varieties. With this one, you're getting a lot of Dark red berries uh, is what it reminds me of. It's a blend of um, three grape varieties, uh, the Monastral, uh, Cabernet Sauvignon, and Grenache Tintorero. Let's try it. So I'm gonna switch that around. You, know, you can feel the warmth from the alcohol. It's probably about 14 degrees alcohol. That is really an, a very interesting Even blend. Even with the pickled cabbage. Mm -hmm. I mean, it, it holds up. Uh, it brings out a different different element of the wine, and that's all the fun of it. Again, it wouldn't be your first, it, it's wouldn't totally counterintuitive, mm -hmm. this choice, I gotta say. You wanna break the rules. You wanna have some fun, <laughs> mix it up a little bit. And that's one of the things I find with, um, with dining. Part of the enjoyment and certainly is the presentation, it's the flavors of the food. But what also adds to the whole experience is the wine. Really gives a whole other element to it. Are you surprised with the with the wine choice? I am actually really surprised. I, I mean, it's a great varietal I've never heard of. Mm -hmm. um, I mean, it's it actually smells a little bigger on the nose and, um, than it actually is on the palate. So it's it, I mean, it, it's a really great match. Thank you. Yeah. Thank Thanks, you. Michael. Great. Good Thank good you. job. Cheers. Cheers. Here's to cold weather. <laughs> we love it.